Hey guys, this is Mindy back with another cup of love, cup of wisdom. <clears throat> Let's get in here, do an energy check, and see what's going on. Remember, this can be past, present, future. Um, also keep in mind, this is a collective read, not a personal read. If you would like a personal read, the details are in my description box for a channel, for my channel. And you can also email me at aceofcup0 at yahoo.com. Hmm, that's a lot. All right. So I have snap out of it. If you're a bird, I'm a bird. Squawk, squawk. <laughs> um, I wish I knew how to quit you in the reverse. Why don't you come up sometime and see me in the reverse? <clears throat> I ain't got time to bleed in the reverse. And I don't want to survive. I want to live in the reverse. So, um, someone is snapping out of it or somebody needs to snap out of something. Um, this could be someone trying to mimic someone or copy someone. It's like, well, whatever you like, I like to, um, mm. I wish I knew how to quit you. I know I'm getting the karmic stuff very easily. There's a karmic here. The karmic energy. Um, doesn't want to give up on something. They could be wanting someone to come visit them. But someone's not messing around with another person. They moved forward with I ain't got time to bleed. So this person, this karmic energy could have caused some sort of wound, heartache. Um, and someone doesn't want to deal with that. They don't want to be hurt over and over again with, I don't want to survive. I want to live. So someone's tired of living in survival mode. Um, but it's like someone could be snapping out of it or someone needs to snap out of it. Um, possibly even be their own person. That could also be that karmic energy too. This could be the past and this could be now. Okay. So in the reversals can be karmic or past energy. That's how I read my cards. Um, so snap out of it. So someone needs to snap out of copying someone. This is like the copycat energy. This is someone that you were in a relationship with, whoever this message is for. Um, they definitely cause some sort of heartache and pain. Um, but you can't deal with this person anymore because you had to be in survival mode when you were with them. Um, and they're still under some sort of illusion. It's like they're deceiving themselves. So I feel like that's all regarding the karmic, even the two that are in the upright. It's like someone is deceiving themselves. Someone wanted you to work with them or they were working with somebody else because they got impatient. So somebody could have gotten tired of waiting. This karmic could have gotten tired of waiting for you to show up. <sighs> really? After causing the heartbreak and shit. Oh my God. Okay. So this karmic energy was very manipulative and they acted like they wanted to possibly be in a relationship with somebody, um, you know, a divine femur masculine, um, but they were sitting around waiting. Well, they're not, they weren't waiting for shit, honestly, like they weren't waiting because they moved on. They got impatient. So they started working with somebody else, but they could still be trying to copy somebody's energy, a divine femur masculine's energy. This is someone that someone maybe had a family with families in the reverse. So someone could have also started working with a family member or collaborating with a family. Balance is going to be restored. So, oh shit. So this karmic energy, they're the copycat. This is someone that someone was in a relationship with. They did something really shady and they expected a divine femur masculine to come back to them. And they got tired of waiting, so they started working and losing patience and working with a family member. And this could be the Divine Femmes or Masculine's family member um, to cause some sort of harm, like to do something very spiteful or vengeance. Um, but balance is going to be restored. Someone wasn't very smart. Someone didn't have the wisdom here. Oh, balance is going to be restored because someone's going to defend themselves. This could be against a Scorpio or this could be a Scorpio that has to defend themselves. So I have Scorpio and Libra energy coming out. 
and somebody didn't believe another person or somebody doesn't want to believe something is true. So someone lacked knowledge regarding what was going on in this situation and they didn't want to believe something was true. It's like someone's in denial. Someone needs to snap out of something. They're delusional. This is really strange. So somebody here didn't want to believe that somebody would work with somebody's family against them. It's like they weren't educated. They didn't have the knowledge and they could have believed something that was said. I'm going to pull a few tarot cards real quick. Um, or a few. <laughs> okay, so we have someone who was held in high honor here and someone was trying to stop another person from moving forward. Uh, and we have a divine union here. So we have someone who is held in high honor and a union coming together for a king of cups and a queen of wands. So someone who is very emotionally balanced, someone who is loving and caring, and then someone who is a leader, a feminine energy who is a leader, you know, caring, compassionate, um, you know, pr protective energy, a natural born leader, um, and a very loving king of cups. And there's a divine union here. And someone was trying to stop someone from moving forward or traveling towards this person. So this could have been an ex that collaborated with a family member to put um, barriers in someone's path to stop them from traveling towards their divine counterpart. So this is a match. Yeah, there's an emperor in the reverse. So this is like... Um, Father figure, husband, lover figure, tyrant energy. So there's a masculine figure here that was trying to stop a king of um, cups and a queen of wands from uniting. And um, someone is held in high honor here. Or both of these people who are in the upright are held in high honor. Um, someone's moving on to calmer waters here. It could be this couple. I'm getting a couple vibe. Yeah, I told you barriers. Someone was trying to keep someone stuck with the hangman energy. Um, this emperor was trying to keep this couple or one of these people stuck from traveling towards the other. Yeah, but the Wheel of Fortune is not on their side. Someone is getting enlightened. There's a big piece of information that someone's getting. It's like someone didn't have the wisdom before, but they're figuring it out now. So someone is getting educated about a past partner working with a family to cause problems for somebody. Yeah, the Emperor was in their King of Wands energy, so this is someone who was a player, someone who didn't want to wait around, someone who gets restless, antsy. They were weak, they were a coward, two-faced, you know, fell for the low-hanging fruit. They want something now, instant gratification energy. Impulsive, like, just very restless. It's like they don't sit still for very long. Somebody told a very big lie, and they're in despair with the Nine of Swords. So somebody was keeping a big secret hidden, a big truth. Someone lied, um, and they were keeping something hidden, and someone is figuring out what that was. So there was some sort of lie that was told, um, and it has someone in despair, possibly over the lie being exposed, or they could regret telling this lie because they're experiencing bad luck. Someone is working and planting. So there's going to be some sort of communication here about someone wanting to work together, plant, grow something, um, something long lasting with the Seven of Pentacles here. This could be someone wanting to work together as far as business, or this is just someone who wants to plant, you know, like a family together or something. There's going to be some sort of communication exposed or brought to light regarding some sort of finances um, someone could be working um, on something or growing something starting something starting new like maybe a new business venture or something like that and it may be just starting to show fruit or someone is working on it um, and someone was keeping something hidden or they lied about it possibly they could have said that um, this that was this person's income or job like okay so say if you're a tarot reader right like I'm a tarot reader 
Um, some readers have their channels monetized. So, you know, they get paid for like views and ads and stuff like that. Well, when you do that, you have to file taxes and stuff and it's considered, you know, like taxable income. Um, so someone could have lied and said something like that. Like somebody's job is like, you know, something that somebody does was like a job or they got money for it and they really don't like me. Mine's not monetized. I, I don't you know, I just get donations and stuff. Um, so someone could have lied something like that and said that that was someone's income when it wasn't really income. It's just their religious practices. I mean, when I do tarot, it's like, you know, it's a spiritual thing. It's just how I give my spiritual messages. It's no different to me than a preacher preaching a message and then passing a collection plate around. The only difference is, is my collection plate's electronic. And if you like the message, you can send a donation. And if not, you know, whatever. But um, there could be something very taboo. And I think that that has to do with this, like, you know, tarot reading, something like that, um, would be considered taboo. So I'm, I'm on track here and someone was trying to keep people blinded from the truth or, you know, being at a crossroads, unable to make a decision, um, because of the unusual nature of what it is. And I'm using this as an example. It doesn't have to be this, but it's like the perfect example. And it's right here in front of me, literally. So uh, but something is considered taboo, and someone could have told a big lie regarding someone's income. They could have said that that was a job, that's how they make money, they're getting rich off doing something, and that's really not the case. Um, so someone is finding something out about this. And it doesn't have to be that specific scenario, I just use that as an example. But it regards something very taboo, and someone is at peace. Someone is relaxed, like they're getting attacked from all angles. Uh, yeah, seven of wands. So there's seven wands there. So there could be up to like seven people attacking somebody and they're trying to maintain their peace and just, you know, do themselves and, you know, be calm, cool, collected. And there's people trying to interfere with that um, and cause this person drama and put barriers in their path. They wanted to keep people blind to the fact that they were the ones putting barriers in this person's path, whether it's the masculine or feminine or both. And it's really sad. I mean, I don't know why people just can't mind the business. But, you know, we have those people that like to put their nose in other people's money, you know, relationships, all kinds of crazy shit. Someone has to clean up a betrayal because there's a big tower moment coming because there's a the big truth is about to come out. And someone's about to get smacked with a dose of reality here. Um, if somebody thought they were going to get a big chunk of change off someone because they thought they were rich because they do tarot readings or something like that, um, they're in for a rude awakening. <laughs> I feel like they're going to get the shock of a lifetime by finding out that someone's channel isn't monetized. I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying as an example, but it's like that. I mean, that's exactly what I'm seeing. The scenario, um, that's like the equivalent of what is going on here. Someone lied about someone's income, how they make their money. And now someone's like, oh shit, we have a mess to clean up. Clean up on aisle two. There's an emperor here who's moving on to calmer waters. So this could be that king of cups energy. Someone was not caring, empathetic. This could be a parental figure here. Someone in someone's family here that was working against um, them. So, man, it's sad that people's family work against them. And then this turned sideways just now. So this could be going on now. Someone is on their way trying to move on to calmer waters. But, you know, someone's not being caring or empathetic here. Someone that you would expect to be caring and empathetic. And then we have the emperor here, a masculine energy. So it could be that um, emperor in the reverse. Also that, um, you know, that tyrant energy. They have to clean up a mess they made because now they're facing a tower moment. By telling some sort of lie, they could have filed a court document, something like that. Um, man, this is crazy. They're not getting a victory. I mean, it's it's a no. They, they don't have victory. I mean, you're working on something. Seven of Pentacles, you're working, you're growing something. But you're not rich off of it. I don't know what these people are thinking.
I mean, shit, if I was in it for the money, I'd be charging more than a donation of $20. And that's a minimum donation. And, you know, I only do that because if I didn't, everyone would be getting readings like nonstop all day, every day. And I'm sorry, but my phone data just can't handle all that. <laughs> Someone was a coward. This person was a coward. They fell for the low-hanging fruit. They're a punk-ass little bitch. I'm sorry, but not sorry. They are. They were a coward. They lied. And now they're getting exposed. Someone's getting a house or moving to a house so, or somebody owes someone a house. So this masculine, this emperor energy, this karmic masculine um, was a weak ass punk and they could have been trying to stop someone from getting a house or from moving into a house or getting a house. This person could be withholding a house from a divine femur masculine. One of, who's in the upright, you know, one who's not shady. Yeah, someone's under judgment because they rushed in with lies. Yeah, they rushed in quickly. The Knight of Swords, they, you know, scurried their little ass to wherever and told some lies. And now they're under judgment for the lies they told. And there's a house here, so this could be regarding a house. All right, we're going to jump straight to my Woodstock cards for a minute. See if we can't get a little more in depth on this one. Yeah, so there was a whole group of people that were screwing something up for a divine femur masculine or both because it's really hard to d differentiate between the couple energy. It's like as if they're coming up as one energy. So this is definitely a divine union because it's like a soulmate connection here, like a you know, the two becoming one thing. I can't explain it, but that's just the energy I'm picking up. It's like the it's like they're showing up as energetically feeling as if they're one energy. So it's hard to differentiate between the masculine or the feminine energy. Um, so they both could be being affected, you know, simultaneously. Uh, but if, if something is affecting one person, it's affecting the other as well. But um, yeah, someone was stopping someone from moving forward. They kept putting heavy burdens on them. This is almost like the 10 of wands energy. Um, they kept placing heavy burdens on someone so they couldn't get a house. Somebody wants to move or something and they're not able to. Someone has some sort of video evidence, you know, screenshots like, oh, see here, um, I have proof that they're getting paid for this. You know, um, getting donations is not the same as an employed job. I mean, I don't know. Um, you know, yeah, there was some sort of communication that was made about and someone was secret. Jeez. Oh, so someone's past lover here made some sort of communication. They were hiding a secret that they were in communication and talking with somebody here. So this past lover here, whether this is a spouse or boyfriend, whatever, picked up the phone and was keeping a secret that they were working with somebody's family. They were gathering evidence, putting barriers in someone's path. You know, same bullshit, different day. Yeah, because they didn't want to go through a transformation. They didn't want things to change. I guess they like things the way they are. Okay, well, that's fine for them, but not every one of us, if we're divine, we don't stay stuck. We move forward. We don't... Jeez. Yeah, someone didn't want something to change with a feminine. Someone was trying to stop a feminine energy, or a feminine energy was the one... Um, so it could be a feminine in someone's family that was working with this ex-masculine or something like that. You know, whichever one is the ex and whichever one is the um, family member. Um, but there's people grouping together here. There's a support group. Like, there's people here that support somebody. And someone can't stand that. So someone saw that um, somebody had maybe followers or a platform, you know. Um, and so then they got on the phone and started talking shit. Like, this person's making all kinds of money. This is, you know, they're rich. They got this and that. Take them to court and squeeze them for everything they got. And meanwhile, the person's not making shit off of what they're doing. They're doing it because they enjoy it or it's because of their spirituality, their religion, you know, whatever. But somebody went off the deep end with some nonsense here. Because this person was evil. They're not divine. And so they're jealous of a divine. So someone got their panties up in a bunch because they're not getting attention. 
Oh, someone is taking a moment to pause and reflect about something. Someone's like, whoa, 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 hold up. I look at this one as a hangman energy, but um, the kind where you're just taking a moment to stop and just sit on a swing for a minute and just chillax and just absorb what's going on. So someone's like, whoa, 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 slow your roll. Um, because it, it's looking like there's a, a third party situation going on here and a false twin flame connection going on here. So somebody was trying to put another person in a third party with a family member and this doesn't have to be a relationship um, this can just be you know working together secretly to ruin someone's life which is what it looks like here placing barriers in someone's path and trying to get rich quick off of them whoever this is or this couple it's really sad check this real quick and then I'll jump to my message cards I never let anyone walk behind me seven out of ten tacks are from the rear so you're expecting this you're expecting something to happen someone thinks they're going to surprise you by doing something and you're prepared you're ready I'm hearing that was that the Lion King scar. Be prepared. I think that's where it's from. Yeah. But you're expecting this. Or somebody is. Someone's expecting this attack. And so it's like they're ready. They have their, you know, all their paperwork in order, whatever. Uh Somebody couldn't copy, someone couldn't imitate, and someone got pissed off. They could have tried, you know, plan A didn't work, plan B didn't work. It's like they keep trying over and over and over to do something, and it's not working for them. So this karma tried to do something multiple times, many different ways, you know, take it how it resonates, um, and it's played out. So you're expecting this just because it's like a pattern. It's, it's just what this person does. cards it is your sibling could be involved that could be the family member that's involved in this somebody lost their spiritual gifts because they were a gold digger so that could be you know your family member or your ex however it applies or both looks like they're both gold diggers looks like they're all a bunch of greedy mofos, you know? Yeah, they were expecting to get some sort of... They were expecting to get money or an inheritance. And someone is using legit spell work or dark magic. So someone is actually, you know, cooking up spells and trying to curse or hex someone. Someone's actually using some sort of dark magic bullshit. Um, they could have said that about you. Maybe because you do something that's taboo, they could have said that about you, but... You know, granny and sisters out in the barn, you know, with their deli chicken bones. <laughs> You're guided by your ancestors. You don't deal with that shit. You may light a candle or something. You know, I'm not going to get into the witchy stuff because, you know, there's good ones, there's bad ones. You know, you know, to each their own. But someone's using dark shit. That's why I specifically put that on the card. Using dark magic. So someone is on the dark side of things. But that's not you if you're in the upright. You can't be in the upright and do dark shit. That would make you a karmic. So the more you know. Oh, someone's trying to gaslight you to make you think that something isn't true when you know damn well it is because you're guided by your ancestors. Your ancestors are knocking on heaven's door like, hey, you know, we're aware of what's going on. We're seeing everything. So don't worry. We got you, boo. I'm hearing something is out of someone's control. But their spell work backfired. It's backfiring. This came out sideways, so it's currently backfiring. This could be the return to sender stuff. You know, whatever. Take it how it resonates. Um, whether you do the return to sender or not, or your ancestors are the ones sending that shit back because they're watching all this go down. Um, they're sending all that back. 
They're like, nope, we've had enough of this. Stop messing with my babies. <laughs> I know how to use crazy in the reverse. These people are crazy. Someone actually has lost their mind. Their, their spell work is backfiring and it's literally making them crazy. They could have been trying to do that to you to make you look crazy. But all they did was create the perfect storm here. And someone's going for broke on this or someone is going to go broke doing this. Um, if you were already broke, you know, that could be why you started doing something. I mean, if these mofos took your money, took your inheritance and all this shit, you know, maybe you had to do something that they couldn't steal from you. And that pissed them off. Well, we can't steal it from them this way, so we're going to try it this way. Try it that way. Nice try. Uh, Earth sign Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. The initials E, F, G, and H could be significant. And a Monday in July, to get more specific. And water sign Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. February on a Thursday and a Pisces could be significant in the next 24, 48 hours. Something is going to happen or is significant, whether it's the past 24 hours or in the next 24 hours, you know, I'll, I'll give or take, you know, cause this is past, present or future. Um, yeah, somebody did something in the springtime. Something has to be balanced out with an equal give and take. Someone thought they had an ace up their sleeve. Oh, no, no, no. They're about to be crying. No, no, no. Just forget about it. They want to bury the hatchet because they got caught. And you're going to be happy. You're going to be on cloud nine. You're going to be woo, having a good old time. Um, the initials Q, R, S, or T in November could be significant here. For an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Yeah, these people were not pure as driven snow. They were evil pure evil like i'm just hearing pure evil so you're getting a clean slate you get to move forward though they were just trying to add insult to injury like they were so dark it's like they just kept piling more and more so they kept doing the spell work more and more and over and over and that's why they're literally losing their shit you know um i know how to use crazy okay well um let's see how you like the crazy coming back to you because someone's lost their damn mind a scorpio could be significant involved in this third party bullshit There's something significant on a Sunday with a Sagittarius. They're getting caught red-handed by hook or crook. They were trying to steal something on a Sunday so someone could be a Scorpio Sag Cusper. Someone got caught red-handed doing some crazy stuff. Meanwhile, you do stuff from out of, you know, King of Cups energy. You know, you do stuff from a labor of love. Someone could be going to jail. On a Tuesday, there could be something significant about a Tuesday. So there could be something significant about the winter time, February specifically. Um, somebody didn't count their blessings because they're not a boss, so they got upset. Time is of the essence for something to get done. And something is going to be easier um, said than done or as easy as one, two, three. So time is of the essence. Someone needs to do something, but it may be more difficult than somebody thought it was going to be. Because um, somebody lost control here. Take the tiger by its tail and a Taurus in the reverse. So there's a Taurus here that's lost their shit, lost control. They thought something was going to be easy. Um, they wanted to be the boss. They didn't count their blessings. They don't have the attitude of gratitude. Um, something had to happen quickly. Um, and it's, it's going to be too hard. It's not going to be as easy as one, two, three, because everything else is in the reverse. So I'm just going to have to go with it's going to be easier said than done. It's going to be too difficult for this person. Something has to be done in a timely manner. All right, let's pull some letters. All right, person, place, or thing. 
The letter Q could be significant. Y. R. S. Someone wants to say sorry, but it's a little too late. G. M. Y again, so I have two Ys. Okay. C, I'll do one more. I'll make it two. Another S. So secret society could be involved in something. And last one, and another K. So yeah, we're getting double letters. So I have two Ys, two Ks, R, Q, C, M, G, and two S's. All right, I hope this helps. Have a good day.